Moin ihr wunderbaren Menschen des Interwebs, ich begrüße euch ganz herzlich zurück zu meinem Let's Play von The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Wir sind hier am Tatort stehen geblieben und wollten uns nun einmal hier umschauen. Dadurch, dass Mr. Gregson endlich weg ist. Oh, the poor man, so young to die. Do you suppose it was a very painful death being poisoned as he was? I don't know. All we can do now is hope that he will be reborn to a better life. Yes, I suppose you're right. I wonder... Do you think that putting our hands together in a Japanese prayer will help a British soul? Sorry. I made sure I had reference at, references at the... at the ready for just such an occasion at this, as this actually. This book is entitled The Beginner's Guide to Praying for the Departed the British Way. I will just reread it now. One moment. There's quite a spine on that book, isn't there? Ah, one of the teacups that Mr. Shamespeare and his guests drank from last night. But don't go drinking from, from them, Mr. Naruhoro. There's a bit of poison inside. I'm not planning on drinking any, don't worry. Anyway, the cups are both empty. That's true. So, one was Mr. Shamespeare's, and the other must be the cup that Mr. Natsume was drinking from. But Susiki-san wasn't poisoned, of course. Perhaps we should take these... Uh, we should take these so we can examine them in more detail later. Okay, the pair of teacups has been entered into the court record. Können wir die uns zufällig jetzt schon mal genauer angucken? Das geht. This is the tea cap from which Mr. Natsuma was drinking. Yes, unlike the other one, the inside of the cup is completely clean. I suppose he must have drunk the contents before the tea had a chance to leave a mark. I always gulp it down too. Sorry, Mr. Naruhoro. Well, if you just sip it little by little, it goes cold. Clearly, I shall have to, in to instruct you in the proper way to take tea. Okay, the teacups used by Mr. James for Mr. Natsuma. There is no tea ring on the inside of Mr. Natsuma's cup. Okay. This must be the cup that Mr. James was drinking from then. It's stained on, on the inside. Tea does that, I'm afraid. Even green tea. Oh, really? I've never noticed before. You've never noticed? Well, I never leave it in the cup long enough to leave a mark. I like to gulp it down. Drink tea while it's hot. That's the Japanese way, isn't it? Oh dear, so many people seem to have the wrong idea about our culture, and most of them are Japanese. Okay, aber mehr scheint es hier nicht zu geben. Okay. Dann ist das die... Sind das all die Informationen, die wir von den Bechern bisher rausbekommen können? Ähm... Um What's this? It looks like part of an envelope, I think. Yes, I think you may be right. Perhaps it was torn off when the letter was opened. Is that significant? Well, it's a little out of place, perhaps. When you look around the room, there is no sign of a letter or the rest of the envelope. In fact, is there? She's right. And yet, here we have the torn off end of an envelope. It just strikes me as unusual. I agree. We better take this, just in case. Okay, turn of envelope. Dann würde ich mal gerne nachschauen, ob wir uns den auch genauer angucken können. Können wir sogar. Whoever opened this envelope didn't bother with a letter opener or scissors, did they? Yes, whoever opened it was clearly someone with an unrefined temperament. And judging from the angle of the rip here, the person in question must have been right-handed. Miss Susato. I think perhaps someone's been reading too much of the adventures of Herlock Sharms. You can never read too much of it, Mr. Naruhoro. Never. Okay, aber mehr Infos gibt es hier dann auch erstmal nicht. Okay. Gut, dann... Ich meine, ich glaube jetzt, dass der, der Gasmesser wird nicht so wichtig sein hier. As we have seen from the outside, the window is completely bricked up. A vestige of the former window tax that Britons had to Britons had to pay. 
What strange things they used to tax in Great Britain. I mean, making people pay for the number of windows they had in a property, it's extraordinary. It's heartbreaking to think of, of the poor having to block up their windows just to avoid an unaffordable tax. What is it, Mr. Zato? If you look closely, a number of the bricks are loose. Oh yes, it looks as though an amateur has broken out a few of them just here. Was it Mr. Shamespear who did it, I wonder, being the lodger renting this room? Look at this, Mr. Naruhoro. On the outside, there's a little edge. And there's something on it. W outside? Das sieht aus wie, um, wie, wie Seife, oder? It's so cold outside, you can feel it through this gas gap. Uh, it did snow all. It did snow all last night, it would be cold. But more importantly, what is it on the latch out there? What are those snow-covered lumps? It's more bars of soap. Soap? What are bars of soap doing lined up on a latch outside the window? I have no idea, but the pair of them look rather charming like that. Still, that's very strange, isn't it? Bars of soap lined up outside the window? I think perhaps we should take one, there are two after all. Oh dear, I suppose we could. Oh, what's this? Look, here at the soap. Do you see in the middle there? There's a patch that's that's a different color. It's it's a, it's sort of transparent, but some sort of fancy design, I suppose. Only in Great Britain. It looks like the Hinomaru flag of Japan, doesn't it? How wonderful. It's probably a very expensive brand. Expensive? Then what's it doing in this ramshackle old room? Okay, dann würde ich mir aber auch mal sehr, sehr gerne die Seife genauer angucken. This part is a different color. It's an exquisite design, isn't it? Trust the British to turn a boring bar of soap into something special. I quite like it. It reminds me of the Hinomaru design of the Japanese flag. I expect this is rather expensive soap. That doesn't seem likely, given who it belongs to. Ich würde das hier gerne einfach mal rausbrechen können. Aber ich schätze mal, das wird erst in einem zu einem späteren Zeitpunkt möglich sein. Look at these extravagant bright costumes. Somehow they look out of place in this room with its grim shady going ongoings. This one looks like a king's at attire. A king? I've always dreamt of being a king. Oh, I think you'd be more suited to a feudal lord, a uh, daimyo or such like. With a chun mage top knot, every Japanese man wishes he had a chun mage. Oh, you would look wonderful with one, and you already have the sword. Can you imagine what would happen if I walked around the streets of London with a chun mage and a sword? I will have this word so hard butchered. Haben. There is not much on these shelves, is there? Just this wine glass and a bottle. And both of them are cracked. Yes, not much use, are they? What's the matter? Oh, I was just reminded of the Reaper, that's all. Prosecutor Lord von Zeeks. Yes, he's so reckless with his wine glasses. I was thinking it's a waste and that he should dona donate some to the needy. You can suggest it next time we meet. Okay, aber ich glaube, sonst haben wir hier nicht wirklich viel Wichtiges zum Angucken. Dann würde ich sagen, machen wir uns einmal auf den Weg zu... Okay, New Location. Uh, Prison, Gary Depp's Room, Briar Road. Wir werden einmal bei Mr. Gary Depp vorbeigucken, würde ich mal sagen. Here we are again, the eccentric landlord's eccentric top floor abode. We are here because Mr. Gary Depp's the one who discovered the incident this morning, don't forget. Oh, you chaps, sir. Huh? Yeah, good morning, sir. Thank you for your cooperation and court yesterday. It was quite a trial. As much for Mr. Gary Depp as anyone, really. Came straight back here after all that business at the Bailey yesterday. Didn't expect to wake up to more Bailey nonsense this morning. I wonder if you wouldn't mind telling us exactly what happened, Mr. Garidab. 
Yes, I suppose you would like to know all about the dead loss of an actor chap in the ground floor room. Those were exactly Inspector Gregson's words, weren't they? It must have been a real shock for you this morning. I hear that you discovered what had happened. Oh, well, that hopeless actor chap rises at 5 o'clock sharp every morning without fail. But at 5.30 this morning, he still hadn't... ...told the gas. So I went down and knocked on his door, but no belly and belly answer. And that's when you broke into his room by kicking down the door? Well, I called on that room look... ...that rum-looking Japanese chap to do the... Grunt work, of course. Wasn't it a little premature to kick the door down? The man could have just overslept by half an hour. That's very true, Mr. Naruhoro. At 30 minutes oversleeping, weren't it such behavior? I would have to kick your door down every morning. Well, um, you know, better to be safe than sorry and all that. Is it just me or is he avoiding our gaze now all of a sudden? Except that it was was a sorry situation indeed that you found on the on the far side of the door. The victim's name is Mr. Shamespeare, I believe. Is that right? Yes, William Shamespeare took the ground floor room three months ago now. And how would you describe him? In a word, destitute. Well, let's face it, the only redeeming feature of that room is the cheap rent. Anyone wanting to live in a place like that is either broke or has a bolly screw loose. So hard to choose which category Soseki-san would fall into. Mr. Narahoro, that's a little rude. He was doing research as well. Research? Into what? Shakespeare, of course. Shakespeare. Read a few plays of the old... Old board myself, you know. Romeo and Hamlet and all that. Ah, uh, yes, William Shakespeare is England's most highly regarded class classical playwright and author. He's known as Sao in Japanese, as you know, and many of his works have already been translated. It seems incredible that Shakespeare was shortened to Sao, though. Someone was too heavy-handed there. There were a lot of costumes in the victim's room, actually, weren't there? Of course, Mr. Natsuma is a scholar of English... Literatur as well. <laughs> I imagine he and Mr. Shakespeare would have had much in common. Shakespeare, interpretation, disagreement leads to shocking murder. Let's hope it's not that. Mr. Narahoro? Really, how rude. After Mr. Natsuma's trial yesterday, you came straight back here, I believe, didn't you? Did you notice anything strange between the between then and this morning? Well, no, must have been about six in, the ev six in the evening by the time I got home. Snow was coming down rather heavily as I remember and it was completely dark already. That failed actor chap was out at the time. Mr. Gary Depp noticed there was no light from his room or something, I suppose. Couldn't summon the energy for anything much, so I just sat in front of the fire up here. It was after eight before Shamespeare got back. And the chap was up until past 1 in the morning, I will have you know. Suppose he met his end sometime after that. I was asleep by then, so I'm rather in the dark there. Well, thank you. That was very illuminating. Is everything alright, Mr. Zato? Well, I was just thinking. It's a little strange, that's all. Mr. Garidab, you were up here in your room all evening, if I've understood correctly. Not a big fan of stairs. Not with this... Blasted lag. Then... How is it that you seem to know? The precise movements of your ten... Tenant on the ground floor, I mean. That's a very good point. I can't imagine that you could hear noises from the ground floor all the way up here. Does this old man like to spy on his tenants? Is that it? D d I say I know what you're thinking and it's uh, a bully outrage. I'm ex-military, don't you know? I don't go around spying on my tenants, why would I? Then how did you know, Mr. Garidab? It's the gas woman, the gas tells me everything. The gas? 
What on earth do you mean, sir? How can the gas tell you anything, let alone everything? Well, as you're probably aware, the gas is supplied to the building by pipes. Yes, I would more or less work that out. Every room in the building is connected by a single pipe to the gas main outside, and the gas company supplies gas to properties via the main. Yes, I understand that too. Let me see if I can explain. Let's say I was to light the gas lamps up here. What do you suppose would happen? Well, obviously the room would get brighter. Exactly, but at the same time, the lights in all other rooms of the house would dim for a moment. They would dim? Why? Perhaps it's because when you light a gas lamp, it briefly uses more gas than usual, and that reduces the amount of gas in the pipe for the other lamps that are connected to it. That might explain why the other lamps dim mom momentarily. Yes, of course, because everything's connected to a single supply pipe. Is that supposed to happen, though? It sounds rather undesirably. Jolly good point. Fact is, the gas company's pipes in these parts are pretty hopeless, long worn out, and barely got any gas in them to start with. Opposite's also true, of course. Extinguish lamp ups here and they glow brighter in the rest of the house. Right, I see. So by watching the flickering of the lamps in one room, you, could, you can determine what's happening elsewhere. You've got it. Oh, of course, because when people come back home in the evening and before they go to sleep at night, what they are guaranteed to do is either light or put out their lamps and fires. Clever. In point of fact, the room on the ground floor and the one above it use slightly different amounts of gas. By watching the lights in here closely, I can work out almost exactly what's going on in the whole house. Gosh, that's fascinating, Mr. Garidap. Absolutely fascinating. Oh well, nothing to it really. I can't really see that it's going to help us with the case either. What I would like to know is why Mr. Garidab is so interested in what his tenants are up to in the first place. I feel like there is more to it than, than idle curiosity. Okay, aber mehr können wir jetzt hier leider nicht machen. Um, das ist die Frage. Ich meine, wir können auch... Wir können einmal zu Briarrod gucken und wir können dann natürlich noch ins Gefängnis gehen und mit Mrs. Danatsume reden. Okay, gut, hier ist nichts los. Dann würde ich einfach sagen, gehen wir mal ins Gefängnis. Und, what? Hier ist auch nichts los. Wo sollen wir denn... Wo können wir denn sonst noch hin? Showmsuit. Okay, ich glaube nicht, dass wir ins Krankenhaus müssen. Prison nicht. Also wir können nur zu Mr. Showms einmal gehen. Gucken, ob sich hier irgendwas verändert hat. No. Okay. Wir können auch nicht mal zu uns gehen. Okay. Ähm, aber ich wüsste sonst nicht, ähm, ich könnte ihm halt nur Sachen präsentieren, aber ich weiß nicht, was mir das Ding würde. Mr. Gary, Gary, Gary Depp, could I show you this? Been quite a couple of days, as you can imagine. I'm afraid I'm rather tired. I haven't really got the energy in the old eyeballs, to be honest with you. Some other time then. Okay, ne, dazu sagt er uns nichts. Ich kann auch nicht zu Leuten wechseln. Okay, da redet er dann auch nicht mit uns drüber. Ähm, um, hm. Aber ich glaube nicht, dass ich was im Raum vergessen habe, mir anzugucken. Ich glaube schon, dass ich da mir eigentlich alles genau angeguckt habe. Ähm, aber jetzt ist er nicht im Gefängnis. Ja, ich meine, was, 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 was sollten wir hier tun können? Ja, genau, hier können wir nämlich nichts machen. Okay, Showmsuit funktioniert ebenfalls nicht. Briar Rock, Garrett Through Prison. Also wir haben nur... 
ins Gefängnis, aber da ist er nicht. Also ich muss ja dann irgendwas übersehen haben, oder? Ich kann ja, ich, ich kann ja nirgendwo anders hin. Muss irgendwas übersehen haben. Also hier gibt's nichts, hier gibt's nichts. Das haben wir uns angeguckt, das haben wir angeguckt. Hier, hier, hier. This is a gas wall light, isn't it? It must be connected to a gas pipe in the wall. Gas lights are a gay stove. London really is a city of gas. But now that I think about it, Mr. and Mrs. Garridap had an open fire on the top floor, didn't they? Oh yes, you're right. I don't recall seeing a gas stove up there. Well, I much prefer a real fire anyway. It's so much cozier. Cozier. And here we have another disproportionately large machine. And this looks like a meter of some kind. This is a gas meter, I think. It seems that in this district, residents pay for gas as they use it with coins. Yes, now you've pointed it out. I can see that there is a slot just just here that looks like it would take a coin. So you mean, if you put a coin in here... That's right, that would buy you about two hours of gas for lights and heating. So if you were a poor person with no money, you would have to sleep in, in the freezing cold. Yes, or if you were a scatterbrain with no cha change because you forgot to exchange your money, money to the bank. Thank goodness there's no meter in our office. Looks like you're having a good snoop around, huh? Okay, gut, wir mussten uns noch einige Sachen mehr angucken in dem Raum. Inspector Gregson, back so soon? After I threw that little Japanese feller in the clink, I went and reported this to the investigation division. In five minutes time, this place will be cordoned off by the yard. I see. Well, we better be leaving then. Poor Mr. Natsume must be feeling very low being back in the in a cell again so soon. I'm sure. We should probably go and... What's wrong with Sir Naruhara? Out, out, brief candle lies but a walking shadow, a poor player. That struts and frets is his hour upon the stage, and then his, then is here no more, er, no more. Now, how sound of the next part? It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, sig signifying nothing. Indeed, oh happy day! Um... <laughs> um, was ist gerade passiert? <laughs> Walking Dead? The... The fella isn't dead at all. What was that nonsense he was saying, though? I think, uh, yes, it was from William Shakespeare's Macbeth. Uh, Solico... Solilugi from Act 5, Scene 5. Shakespeare. So it was that the victim, Mr. William Shakespeare, came back to life. If the man had indeed been poisoned, it transpired that it hadn't killed him. He was taken by emergency carriage to a nearby hospital for treatment, and Inspector Gregson evicted us from the scene of the crime, whatever that now was. Okay, das war ähm, extrem weird. <lacht> okay. Whatever do you think will happen now? Good question. What a strange situation for Mr. Natsume. Arrested for murder, but then the victim comes back to life. I think perhaps the victim was never dead in the first place. It seems very likely that Mr. Shamespear did consume poison as we deduced. But was it an accident? Attempted suicide or attempted murder? 
Until the truth can be established, I imagine the police will keep Mr. Natsuma in custody. I suppose so. Let's hope it doesn't come to anything more than a night in the cells. Oh, what's this? What's that man doing over there? He looks like he's trying to see into Suseki-san's lodgings. Is something wrong, Mr. Naruhoro? Um, excuse me, could we have a word? He just ran off. Ja, das war, ähm, das war der Typ, der doch gestritten hatte mit diesem Künstler, mit diesem Schauspieler. Da erinnere ich mich auch dran. Die hatten da irgendwie so eine, ähm, eine, irgendeine Argumentation oder äh, Diskussion am Laufen. I feel sure that I've seen that man somewhere before. Where was it? I do it too, but I don't remember. Well, we've done as much, uh, much investigating here as we can, I think. Perhaps we ought to go to the prison and speak with Mr. Natsuma again. A good idea. Look, Mr. Naruhoro. Mr. Natsuma, have the police finished questioning you now? Welcome, student Mr. Naruhoro. Um, yes. What is he? Tell me, is he a ghost? Is he here to haunt me? Let me guess, you are talking about Mr. Shelms? He actually calls himself a great detective, Mr. Natsuma, not a ghost. But, but his diabolic deductions... They are not of this world, they have, they have, they have left me. Cursed? I'm cursed, I tell you. Well, that sort of hurts. Credit where credit is due, Mr. Naruhoro. You were heav heavily involved in the deduction, too. Yes, moving on. We have some wonderful news. The victim that we all thought was dead has come back to life again. Now, in the absolute worst case, you could only be tried for attempted murder. That's great, isn't it, Mr. Natsuma? It's terrible. I'm stuck in the cell, suffering for some silly wrong end of, of the stick. You did it, didn't you? Confess, you're a killer. Why the mustache? Constant questions. I am sorry to hear that. That selfish shyster... Sh sh Make up your mind, are you dead or alive? If you were going to come back to life, why bother dying? Wickedly, wishy, wishy, vashy, William. Well, it seems likely that Mr. Shamespear was never actually dead in the first place. Yes, that might make sense. And I'm pleased that he's alive, of course. Our uh, lively debate last night was much fun. I'd be sad to think it was our last. Um, Mr. Natsuma, does this mean that you did see the victim last night? You met with Mr. Shamespear, didn't you? I'm not saying another word. I demand to have a lawyer present. Who do you think I am? Please, Mr. Natsuma, we need to hear your side of the story. Why am I cursed like this? Can you tell us exactly what happened last night then, Mr. Natsume? There's nothing to tell, but Mr. Naruhoro, I'm eternally grateful to you for helping me with that accursed case yesterday. A case that saw poor Miss, Miss Green hospitalized after she ended up with a knife in her back. It's hard to believe that was only yesterday. After the trial was over, I trudged my weary way back to my, lo my lowly lodgings. And that evening, at past nine, it must have been I visited Mr. Shamespear. So, you did go to the victim's room then? As we feared. I didn't do anything wrong. I've never been to his room before, it was the first time. Then, what made you decide to go? I bumped into him when I arrived back at home. We got chatting and it developed into a discussion. But he had to go out, so I be bade him farewell. That ties him with what Mr. Garadab said, that the victim went out and came back after aid. We met again later that evening at around 9 or just after when I took him some nice tea. I... I did... I... 
I've brewed as a gift. So it was you who brought it who brought the tea that had clearly been drunk at the scene then? And I suppose you were discussing the works of Shakespeare, were you? Yes, that's right. That's exactly right. Romeo uh, Romeo and Juliet, who who was the stronger? It was a delightful debate. I am sure. Such a stimulating subject, Shakespeare. And the debate became very heated, so you slipped poison into Mr. Shakespeare's tea? No, never, not at all. Team Juliet won, that was me, and when I left his room, the flame... Flamboy... The flamboyant fellow was fighting fit, I swear it, categorically. Mr. Natsume, you often say the same thing about yourself, I've noticed, that you have a cursed existence. I'm sure I've mentioned this to you before, but I've been here in Great Britain for a year now, and in that time I've learned that it's no place for me. It can be very trying to live in a foreign land and attempt and adapt to the ways of another culture. There were foreigners everywhere I look, and they all stare at me. They all laugh. That's the impression I get whenever I go out. It makes me scared to leave my room. Which is why I've become a recluse. But even in my room, I find no respite from my fears. I've moved more times than I can remember, and then one week ago I moved into Briar Road. But why? I mean, why did you choose that place? It doesn't seem very comfortable. Because the rent is cheap. I have so little money, it spoke to me. The rent? Obviously, there's a reason why it's cheap. Because the room is cursed. Cursed? How? The previous occupant, the man who lived there before, I took the room, died there. He was only a young man, but one morning he was found dead and no one could explain why. Surely no one would want to live in a room with a history like that. I didn't. When the letting agent recommended the place, I wavered. But I want books, and books cost money. A horrible history is a small price to pay. When I realized it would not it would mean I could buy more books, I signed the lease like lightning. Brave or blinkered? But after I moved in, I soon came to realize what I'd done. I realized how horrible that room's history really was. Gosh, was it really so awful? How did the room's horrible history affect you, Mr. Natsume? What happened? At, at first, it was just a feeling. The feeling of beady eyes boring in, into my back, watching me. Do you think that might just have been your mind playing tricks on you? No, 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 no. My mind doesn't know any tricks. It was someone else. It's been on one long, ni one long nightmare ever since I was g g given the keys to the place. A nightmare? You have been having bad dreams, you mean? All the souls who d died in that room uh, uh, lean over me in my sleep and try to strangle me. It really is horrible. And now I come to think of it, it happened again last night too. The very same night Mr. Shakespeare was raving in agony from the poison in his body. I was on the verge of being suffocated silently by those miserable spirits in my room. You simply must move out of that room as soon as possible. Yes, you're right, I know it, and that's why I'm already searching for the next room with a history to call home. I think perhaps you should try to avoid a com accommodation with any kind of history at all. Otherwise, I'm scared that you yourself may become history. Zatuza knows how to make the man listen. Of course, Mr. Lord of the Manor is worried about the curse on my room as well. You mean Mr. Garidab? Yes, he knows that if people keep dying there, he will never be able to rent it out again. Well, that's true. I, for one, wouldn't go near the place. Uh, perhaps... That may explain why the landlord pays so much attention to the gas lamps and his tenants' movements. You mean because he's worried about their well-being? He does seem to have an unusual keen interest in the amount of gas in the pipes. There must be a reason why he keeps such close tabs on the occupants of his lead rooms. What do you mean he pays so much attention to the gas lamps? Oh dear, no, it's nothing to do with you, Mr. Natsume. Please, forget I said anything. 
Oh, now you are talking about me behind my back as well. What's important is that Mr. Shamespear isn't in fact dead at all. Once he's come around and he's able to tell us what happened, we will be able to get you released. Yes, please, I do hope you're right. Um, excuse me. Inspector Gregson. I couldn't help overhearing what you just said, and on that note... I have some good news and some bad news. Which do you want first? Always, every time, the bad news comes first. When hope is all you have, hold on to it. That's my guiding principle. Right, well, in that case, the good news it is. Sorry, but it's just a lot easier to explain everything that way. Then why did you ask me Ask me my preference? As you might have heard, the victim, Mr. Shamespear, was just unconscious. He's come around now. Yes, we saw it happen, and all its terrifying glory. He's still being treated by the doctors, but we've managed to get a written statement from him already. Uh, isn't it wonderful, Mr. Natsume? Oh, thank goodness, it's all over then. I can leave this uh, Sombrook cell. Sorry, no, that's not on the courts. Why, why ever not, Inspector? Mr. Shamespear has implicated someone as being responsible for what happened last night. Implicated someone? Oh dear. You, you, you don't mean... I am sorry to say I do, yes. He's pointed the finger at you, Mr. Natsume. By sweet poison did he seek if to end my life. That wicked caitiff, Soseki Natsume. So I'm afraid you will be appearing in court as planned. You will be wanting to make the necessary preparations. And so, once again, Soseki-san found himself having to take the dock and the old bailey. Whether his room was haunted or whether he was just terrible unlucky, I knew I had no choice. The following day I would represent him in court and do my utmost to break the curse that, bli that blighted him. To be continued. Ja, wie ich schon gesagt, also Mr. Natsume tut mir so furchtbar leid. Also der hat wirklich so viel Pech. Ähm, ich kann es verstehen, dass er sich dann dafür entschieden hat, äh, sobald das alles vorbei war, wieder ähm, nach Japan zu reisen. Okay, das heißt, im nächsten Part werden wir mit der Verhandlung beginnen. Aber das werden wir wie immer erst im nächsten Part tun. Ich bin mal sehr gespannt, wie das Ganze sich noch entwickelt äh, und was dann hier Mr. Shamespear eventuell zu sagen hat und wenn er wirklich vergiftet wurde, wie das Gift in den Tee gekommen ist oder ob es eventuell doch noch eine andere Möglichkeit gegeben hat, dass er vergiftet wurde. Vielleicht wurde er schon längst woanders vergiftet und das Gift hat einfach nur ähm, länger gebraucht, um zu wirken. Keine Ahnung, da gibt es ja wieder, wieder so viele Möglichkeiten, was hätte passieren können. Und ich bin mal gespannt, was wir im nächsten Part alles erfahren werden. Ich bedanke mich wie immer ganz herzlich fürs Zusehen. Hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß. Und wenn ihr mögt, sehen wir uns sehr, sehr gerne im nächsten Part wieder. Bis dahin. Ciao.